Hey guys, welcome back to Grey Matter. And when we last left off, I was investigating this pool that uh, had some blood looking stuff in it the night before. But I think I'm all done here for now, so I'm gonna go explore the rest of the building. Now that I'm finally allowed to be in here. Go work out. According to the experiment plan, we're going to be visualizing weightlifting tonight here in this gym. Hmm. So we should check some stuff out. Someone's been using that machine and didn't wipe it off. Ooh, kind of gross. Was it you, sir? What can I click on here? Nothing much. Seeing a gym is weird. And like... Brainiac no reference here, wearing a mask. Remember the before times. I'm kidding. I haven't really even thought about it that much when I'm playing these games that no one is wearing a mask. I'm just gonna enjoy it, live vicariously through them. Go, go, go. Okay, take your time. That's a, looks like freaking Hogwarts, these windows. What's this? I think that's St. Edmund Hall's crest. Okay. Looks like there's some painting going on. And this is not drawn into the background. Someone's so I feel been like busy. Guess it's break time. I can do something with this. Hmm. Toilet paper. Don't know what that's doing here. A roll of toilet paper and nail polish. Home manicure, perhaps? Uh, you don't want to use toilet paper to toilet paper to wipe up nail polish. It gets gross. Sticky everywhere. I guess those are for ventilation or odor control. I'm just gonna walk on in here. Helena? Guess Helena? Not. Didn't mean to click on that again. No one's home. Oh gee, no one's home. Would be a shame if someone just I guess climbed those up are on for in here. Or odor control. I want to snoop. I know I can snoop. Someone's been busy. Guess it's break time. Guess maybe I need a reason to go in there. What do I have in my inventory? Oops, using the wrong thing. Um, don't think anything that can help me. Okay. Sam, I told you to walk over to this room. There you go. Good job. I don't have any reason to talk to the person who lives there. Who does live there? I don't know. Let's go up, up, up. Hello, fellow students. I am one of you. Would you like to have a conversation? Can I talk to you? Hmm. 
Someone lost a car. I'm out. I'm not contributing any more to your tuition today, sir. Your luck was just turning. Forget it. I'll be late for class. Hello, sir. I also like I don't to need trick to people. Okay, I guess we can't talk to him. An open door! I'm just gonna walk on in all casual like. Doesn't matter if anyone's home, doesn't matter if anyone sees me. What is this? That's the bolt of the lock. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to do something with this. I can't guess I can't go in here. Do I know any of the people that live here? I do not remember what rooms they were in on the little plaque there. Charles, it's me, Sam. Or not. I feel like that's an invasion of privacy, and I'm absolutely going to invade these people's privacy, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's an invasion of privacy to just have their room numbers listed on the wall in the lobby like that where like anyone can see them. Just saying, maybe I just watch too many crime shows. Who lives here? Can I click on it? No? Okay, Sam, didn't tell you to walk over there. And it's not showing me the- okay. Can't click on the hotspot. Let's go up the stairs again. Come on, Sam! Thank you! Jesus. Computer just wants to be difficult sometimes. What else is new? Go. Okay. Can I talk to you? I don't know you either. Another proctor. Okay. What's in this bookcase here? I feel like you're supposed to be able to walk faster. Maybe it's just in this building. The entire works of Josephus in Greek. Old issues of medical journals. Hmm. What is this? Is this something I could use to cause chaos? It's a fuse box. Would be a shame if someone messed with that. Can I go in here? Who lives here? You there, Harv? Oh, gross. It's Harvey's room. I'm very afraid there. of what I'm gonna find in there. <laughs> okay. What else? Can I go up to the... F what does the sign say? Security something? That might lead over to the graduate wing. But an alarm will sound if I open it. Hmm. Guess I'm not urgently in need of getting over there today. I think Malik lives over there. Well, I'm gonna head back to the house and see if I can show David those freaky photos. He wanted a full report and he's getting a full report. Damn it. on. Okay. Mrs. 
Dalton. I haven't talked to you today. You're up early. Give me two shakes and I'll have your breakfast ready. Can't. I'm off to Oxford right now. I've been at Oxford. At your age, you need a good breakfast. I'll grab something at school. Thanks, though. You're sweet. <laughs> Americans. <laughs> True. I don't eat breakfast a lot, but that's just because I, for some reason, I'm like never hungry in the morning. I can't be expected to eat as soon as I wake up, especially I have to get up super early. I still haven't woken up. It yet. looks like another paper was left this morning. Why do I get the feeling someone wants David to find out about these incidents? Another bizarre new prank on the campus, the pool of blood. See, I said it looked like blood. Another bizarre prank similar to the one that occurred at the horse path track happened yesterday. Witnesses claimed to see something in the water before the pool turned to dark purple. The incident terrorized one student, Jeannie Smith of St. Edmund Hall. She was treated at a local hospital and released. It seems that the two malicious incidents might be related to upcoming rush week, though nothing, nothing quite like this has ever been seen at Oxford before. Leave. Okay. Can I talk to David or is he just gonna be shut up in his lab and emo? David! I got some shit to show you. you Want to see something freaky? I need to knock on the door. The door's locked. Are you in here? Let's go. Where are you at? Go. Oh my god, you're not anywhere. I'm going back to the front of the house because I don't feel like walking all the way upstairs. That's how lazy I am. Walk faster. This is the same thing that happened with Unavowed. My files are clear. I've been cleaning my computer. I feel like the animations should not be- And this isn't like a new game. Like this game came out 10 years ago. So it's not like my computer's going to start running it. But like I've said before, these things just happen to me. David, if you went back to bed, I swear to God, because you're, you're like a vampire and you stay awake at night, and I know Mrs. Dalton said you slept late, but you woke me up early, so I'ma come wake you up early, it's only fair. David, wake the fuck up. Sam, move! What, you wanna look at the owl picture? Is that what you want? Weird painting. A woman and an owl. I like it. Pretty surreal. Okay, you've had your you've had your fun with the owl painting. Let's go talk to David. Can I knock on your door? David's room. It is David's room. That's why I wanted you to go talk to him. Oh my god. 
we could, we should be able to bust in there. He busted in there this morning into my room. Fine, I'm going to talk to Mephistopheles to see if he knows anything about the die. Probably not. Or he'll just give me very cryptic answers like he always does. Hopefully, I can do something here. Why did I go this way? I need to go- okay, never mind. Oh wait, maybe I can get in here now that, um... I, have, I don't like, have an any reason ID. to go into Brazenose College. I prefer St. Edmund Hall. Okay. They're a lot friendlier over there. Well, I'm still... Okay, let's go. Go, uh... Okay. Mephistopheles. Hit me up. Go. Good day, Miss Everett. Not a good day. I don't know what to do. <coughs> Let me talk to you. I'm clicking on you. Let me talk to you! I'm getting, like, genuinely mad right now. <laughs> I need to talk to you about something. Be my guest. I finished the Betrayer's Price. Did you? Congratulations are in order. You might want to check the box again. One never knows. I'll do that. Interesting. Wait, what box? I don't know what box he's talking about. This box? Uh, the box at, um, the church? I don't know. Can I buy anything here? No, I know if- I think- here we go. Ooh, yes. Don't know what the- what was that? Telephone spy, yes. Eye color. Da, da, da. What can I buy? Cry for help, noise maker. Best to get all my shopping done now. Leave. Okay. Flash powder. Cards, blood, uh, disappearing ink, don't need that, okie dokie, guess I'm all good. I'd like to pay before I go. Right you are. Thank you, Miss Everett. You're welcome. Okay.
Oh, hey, Harvey. Finally, something's happening. Smile for the camera, Samantha. Don't take my fucking picture. Uh, hi. I don't like the sinister I knew you music. were a magician. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I was just window shopping. Yeah, right. They have some great stuff in there. I got some fake vomit for a film scene last week. Lucky you. What are you doing here anyway? Were you following me? In your fantasies. Your hot, fevered, sign-me-up fantasies. When do we start? <laughs> Forget it, Kinderman. And you didn't answer the question. I was just shooting some B-roll. But excuse me for breathing. My mother never did, but that doesn't mean you can't. Hey, check out those eyebrows! Classic! Yeah, I'ma just walk away. <laughs> I'm not, uh... I'm not... Uh, in the mood for any of this. Bye, dude. But I'm gonna snoop your room later, so I guess... You know, we're gonna be even. Okay. I'm gonna go see if anyone's at the library. No! Okay. Is anyone at the church? I know that, uh... Mephistopheles to check that box. Or did he mean the telephone? Which box does he mean? I didn't tell you to- oh, I can't click on that anymore? Okay, well I'm gonna check the flower field, just to make sure the gardens, whatever you call it. There we go. Okay, we finally transported. Yay. No one's here. Okay. Then I'm going back to check the telephone box. Maybe he meant the box in the tower, I don't know. You need to be more specific, Mephistopheles. <gasps> what I don't box? need to use the phone booth right now. Oh my god. That's right, it's a booth, not a box. What box are you talking about and what is in the box? Can I please take it? This looks like a piece of paper that I need. Was that from before? I don't know. I'm just gonna go back to Mephistopheles. And, um... Because last time I had to make a 21. I'm gonna make a 21 again and see if anything happens. I don't really know shit about cards. So... I know how to play... Uh, solitaire, and I know how to play Go Fish, and that's pretty much it. I think someone tried to teach me how to play Blackjack once, but I was like, eh, nah. Back in we go.
Good day, Miss Everett. Hi. Hi, okay. Gonna try to. How come I could click on this before? Oh, uh, wait, I have to click on these. Never mind. Ten, okay. One of these is an eleven, right? Where's the ace? Twenty one. That yes! did it. Is that a new thing? It better please let it be a new thing. Yes! Okay. Crailer swole. Twas brillig and the slithy toves or the sea railer swole. It all began with the Cheshire Shat at Alice Liddell Poe's. Doo doo dogs had cracked his egg and the queen screamed off with their shade. The dogs on fire ate their knacks, down necks as long as Chitsty Max. Find Alice, she's close at Nod. Follow well her Zage. Then find the rabbit if you knack and enter the name of the mage. Okay, well, there is an Alice in Wonderland themed store, so I know to go there. This new riddle sounds like it's about Alice in Wonderland. Maybe I'd better check this out. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, girl. Hi. I was wondering if you can tell me about some of the locations around Oxford that were used in Alice in Wonderland. Sorry, I only work here. I'm not an expert. Shouldn't you know things there if you work here? There are postcards on the postcard rack for some of the locations. Okay, thanks. Look at this creepy thing. Okay. There are subtle letters on those teeth. Maybe they act like a combination lock, but what's the code? I guess I'm supposed to enter the name there that they mentioned. Let's look at some postcards. Hmm. Oh, here's a street map. map of London. I'd really like to have one of those. Then let's. I'd like to get it. this map, please. It's five pounds. Thank you. Okay. Dodo, Dodo birds. birds. I remember them from Alice in Wonderland. But I don't know what they have to do with Oxford. That's a freaky picture. The card says... Alice's long neck in the Wonderland story was inspired by the fire dogs in Christchurch Hall. Christchurch, okay. Now I know where we need to go next. In we go. Finally, I'm on the path to something. I know this video is running a little long. I wanted to get something done in this video. <laughs> I really hate the times where I'm just kind of wandering around because I think I'm onto something and then it leads nowhere. But you know, this video would probably be a lot shorter if the walking wasn't so slow. 
What are fire dogs? Oh wait, those are what they called the logs earlier? That was in Dreadhill House though, not the... I didn't even see a fireplace in here. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. Candles? I don't know, I don't know British terminology. Okay, well, since I don't know what I'm doing, I think I'm just gonna leave it off here. Um, sorry I didn't get a ton of stuff done, but at least I know I'm on the right track. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.